If you're a Swifty and or real estate enthusiast, or maybe you're just a tiny bit curious about this 30-something billionaire's real estate holding, strap in. Strapping in. Yes, CNN and everyone else is reporting that she's worth 1.1 billion. Billion with a B? Yes, 2023's Time Magazine Person of the Year, and you and me are going to be diving into this incredible property portfolio of the music industry's golden girl, Taylor Swift. Oh my God, who is she? You've heard of her, yes? Oh yes, she's the an empire fit for a queen, a pop, that is. She's the queen we chose. But first, let me set the scene. It'll leave you breathless. But second, how many Taylor Swift lyric references can you find in this video? So far, one. Let me know in the remarks or reply back. But third, the Super Bowl is coming up this weekend and Tay Tay's all over the news. Her boyfriend, Travis Kelsey, is playing in the game. You know that. The politicians have made it political and she's been heard saying he's charming and endearing and I'm comfortable. There's a lot of Taylor right now and hopefully she won't see the scoreboard and run for her life. Anyway. Anyway, what? Keep moving. I'm standing on the edge of my seat. Taylor's real estate game is no blank space. It's a strategic masterpiece spanning across four states valued by a whopping $150 million. You heard me. From Nashville's charming streets, maybe sweaty in July, to New York's brownstones to Beverly Hills, her properties sing a very diverse tune. I see what you're doing there. It's not about brick and mortar. It's about smart investments and an eye for the potential and a lot of cash, which really helps. By the way, I'm dying to see how this one ends. Let's take a tour. First is the Rhode Island Seaside Escape. Remember the last great American dynasty? Turns out Taylor owns the actual salt box house on the coast that's inspired in the song. Bought for $17.75 million. It's now valued at a cool $30 million. Talk about turning real estate gold. I'm sure those gardens are filled with thorns, though. Mm -hmm. In Nashville's Southern Charm, y'all, a bit of classic Americana, her Greek revival mansion in Nashville. She purchased about two, two and a half million. It's now worth about eight million. Now it belongs to her mom. Proof that Taylor spreads real estate love because that love made a permanent mark. If you know what I mean. There's another one. Thought is Hollywood's royalty in Beverly Hall. Let's go back to the West Coast where we are and check out Taylor's 11,000 square foot Samuel Goldwyn estate. From Goldwyn Myers, she saw it and said, saw you there and I thought This historical monument cost $25 million, but under Swift's LLC's watchful eye, it's been lovingly restored to its original, and now it's valued at a staggering $70 million. Talk about adding your own verse to Hollywood history. Oh, God, really? Fourth is New York's Tribeca Takeover, now way over to the Big Apple. And between 2014 and 17, she went on a Tribeca buying spree, accumulating penthouses, townhomes, apartments, worth a combined 47 million ish. It's like Kanye's Twitter posting spree about her in 2016. Huh. But different. The Taylor Swift effect goes beyond her musical talent with her real estate success, you know, while she's proving her financial abilities. Seems like she's doing okay. Could her boyfriend, NFL star, uh, what's his name, Travis Kelsey, be feeling the Taylor Swift effect as well? While details of his investments are sort of quiet, we just know he shares her entrepreneurial spirit. Is that what kids are calling it these days? There's this one he recently purchased in Leawood, Kansas in October of last year. It's six bedrooms, six baths, 16,000 square feet, living space. It seems big enough for two people, located in a gated neighborhood, and I guess it's more secure than his other place because they um, they were having a ton of issues with paparazzi and fans, as you can imagine. That would be terrible. The paparazzi were everywhere. Hopefully at this week in Super Bowl, she won't say, And my team is losing. Badly. Mm. One more. I know what you're thinking. Is it over? Well, with the heiress to her smashing records, Taylor's real estate empire is just getting started. So grab your paparazzi camera and maybe a map, because one thing's for sure, this queen of pop is building a real estate legacy that's anything but delicate. And hey, don't put her in the basement when she wants the penthouse of your heart. We'll just see what she's going to buy next. Thinking about Taylor Swift. Uh